Hi, you're welcome to another edition of the ongoing live wire training program. Today we're looking at the initial business model. Now that you've been able to come up with your problem statement and your problem statement was quite clear because we said that clarity is key and you have been able to properly position the issues or problems your business wants to address. The next thing, you were also able to put it together in the form of a question. Like you can see the last question on the screen, how can we reduce maternal mortality in rural Nigeria? That was a problem statement that um, CARES came up with. Now, um, as you have done this, the next thing that you need to look at, which we also did, was ideation. So what are these possible ideas or solutions that can address the problem you have identified? Because you identified a problem, you spoke with persons who are experiencing it, and you empathize with them, then you crafted a problem statement. So we say that talking to your customers is very important because actually there are no facts in the building, so you need to get out and talk to your customers. Now, let's look at how Network Cares was able to utilize this. Their problem statement was how can we reduce maternal mortality in rural Nigeria. They had so many ideas they come up with in their ideation. They had things like universal income for expected mothers. They had things like new medical technologies. They had things like 24-hour helpline, community health license, YouTube series, and so on and so forth. Having put all of this together, they were now able to prototype their initial business model. Now, we said that prototyping is the act of making your ideas come to life by building something that people can actually identify with. So, for Netter Cares, they came up with the ideas. They narrowed similar ideas under headings, and you can see many of those groups of ideas together there on the screen. Some on under mobile app development, some under medical technologies, some under public policy, some under physical infrastructure, some under awareness raising and training. They were able to put them together. Then from these ideas that they clustered together, they now had their initial business model that they prototyped. And in this initial business model, we're actually trying to address the problem statement. So you put down the solution that you came up with in your ideation and you identify the major customers that you want to um, target, then there are some key questions for unknowns. So for Netter Cares, you can see that their uh, problem statement was, how might we reduce maternal mortality in rural Nigeria? So all the solutions they came up with, all the ideas they, they were able to brainstorm, they put it down together. They had things like capacity building and training, virtual med, uh, medical visits, platform for mothers to share experiences, and so on and so forth, under solutions. Then for their consumers, their customers, they have their primary target customers, the pregnant women and nursing mothers in Nigeria. And they also have people that are connected with these pregnant mothers who are their extreme consumers. So you think about all of that. They have key questions for unknown variables and they are asking themselves, are mobile phones the best and most reliable communication methods for these expectant mothers? What of cultural barriers and all of that? So these are all the things that come together in your initial business model. So this is what you need to do in this particular um, exercise for us. Having done your problem statement, having done your ideation, now can you put together your initial business model? All of these things we've been talking about are actually what we call design thinking. Yeah, a, a way of helping you come up quickly with ideas that you can test and then improve rapidly to be able to come up with your initial business model. It was developed by IDEO. You can check them out. The link will be in the description of this video. So now, from all we have said, we just want you to give us something simple from the exercise in this um, edition of the program. We said, what is your value proposition? And your value proposition is simply, what benefit will your customers get from using your product, from using your service? It is always in relation to a particular customer segment. And that's your assignment. And if you're able to get it right, you will qualify for the next stage of this program. However, there are more details about this assignment and I will encourage you to check the details in the description of this video or go to our Twitter handle, our Instagram page, our Facebook page and you'll be able to see more of the details that you need for this particular assignment. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you in the next stage. Bye for now.